Every year the church celebrates feasts which are important to us as followers of Jesus. We celebrate the feast of Christmas when Jesus was born. We celebrate the feast of Easter when he rose from the dead. Between those two great feasts, there is another very important event called Racial Justice Sunday. It is a day when we, the people of God, remember that all the people of God are equally loved by him, that we are all members of one family, God's family, and therefore we are all brothers and sisters. In your school, in your class, there will be boys and girls of a different colour from you. Students are different, just as members of staff are. Every person you know who is alive is living in this world because God gave them life. They have feelings and emotions just as you have. Their heart beats because of God. We have an expression. Everyone is made in the image and likeness of God. The person beside you, the person in front of you, the person behind you, all God's children. Every person has a value. God has bestowed an honour and a value on every person, regardless of their colour or racial origin. It is an honour that we have to respect and protect. How are we to protect someone's value and honour? There are three ways. Remember, every human life is sacred. Secondly, never judge anyone by their colour. Thirdly, do not treat anyone unfairly because of their racial origin. To reject someone or to treat someone unfairly because of their race is to cause division in God's family, in our family. As you know, there are times when we have to change our minds. We make a decision, we think more deeply, and then we decide, I think I'll change. God is always asking us to change our minds so that we can be like him, so that we can think as he and Jesus does. It is called conversion. On Racial Justice Sunday, God is asking us to stop, to think, and to realize that everyone, no matter where they come from, or where their parents come from, or what color they are, are made in his image and likeness. That we are all brothers and sisters, that we are all loved equally by God. I would now like to say a prayer. A prayer in which we will ask that in our minds and in our attitudes, we will be like God. Come Holy Spirit, show us your beauty, reflected in all the peoples of the earth, so that we may discover anew that all are important and all are necessary, different faces of the one humanity that God so loves. Amen. Thank you for watching everyone. May God bless you, your family and your school.